everyone, this is Ajay, and I'm here to discuss briefly as to what Zscaler's Web Security in the Cloud offering is all about. The mission here is to give you a scalable web security solution that really doesn't depend on your locations or locations of your users throughout your organizations. Literally, the Zscaler Cloud offering is exactly that, a web security offering located across multiple data centers across the world that gives you the opportunity to point your locations or your users, regardless as to where they are around the world, to the Zscaler Cloud so that you can leverage the policy that's centrally deployed there as well as centrally managed and logged uh, throughout the Zscaler offering. Why are we doing this? Well, of course, the obvious uh, need for web security is becoming more and more obvious with the proliferation of Web 2.0 challenges, the proliferation of greater leakage of data across vectors like instant messaging, as well as Facebook and other Web 2.0 equipped websites. And so what traditional appliances give you or traditional solutions, be they on-site proxies or client software located across various devices, is the problem that not generally speaking, are all devices supported? So when you start talking about more and more mobile devices coming onto the cloud uh, and onto the internet, like uh, iPhones, Blackberries, etc., it's really, really very difficult to actually either deploy software or to enforce a policy across these devices as they're very varied in operating system and type. And so what Zscaler offers is a cloud-based offering which can easily be put into the data path such that these mobile devices, mobile users, or central users, or, or head site users can all be passed through a very centralized um, web security offering so that again your policy is centralized as well as uniform across your entire organization. The Z Sailor Cloud is located again across the world in various uh, data centers and is in the process of growing continually and so the goal here is to minimize latency and maximize the efficiency of managing the cloud offering. What this means is that you are logging into a single portal to you know, specify security policy as well as report on users regardless as to where they started or ended during the reporting period. Here's a sampling of all the features that are included within the Zscaler Cloud offering. We're going to be covering these more and more in future videos on the Academy. But for the near term, features like spyware prevention, attachment type filtering, data loss prevention, URL filtering, categorization, etc. are all provided through the Cloud offering. Consolidated reporting is also a very important feature of the Cloud whereas you can actually again report on various organizational units, users, people, uh, organizations, sites, bandwidth utilization across all of the above or aforementioned as and when these users move through the cloud or move around the organizations as well. So again, that over and above the, the fact that you have easy, easy management really gives you a, a high value add in terms of reduced cost of ownership, reduced cost of management, and of course overall security posture increases that you are able to again protect users who otherwise would not be protected whether they be at home or on the road in various hotels or other uh, locations around the world. And so in conclusion, uh, it's very important to understand that again the cloud offering, though not for everybody, is extraordinarily flexible so that you can again take a single organization that does not have a web security posture and very rapidly ramp them up to having a unified web security story such that again these policies are centralized, the logging is centralized as well. And finally you just have a, a unified footprint uh, across the cloud, you know, which referred to as a Terra cloud again in the Zscaler world. We'll have more and more uh, specific features uh, as time goes on on the Academy. So stay tuned and thank you.